In today's video, I will teach you how to make a speech bubble in PhotoP. Let's get started. First, launch PhotoP and either create a new document by going to File, then New, or open an existing image by going to File, then Open, where you want to add the speech bubble. Now we're going to create the bubble shape. In the toolbar on the left side, find the shape tool. It might show as a rectangle by default. Now right click on it and choose the ellipse tool from the drop down. And to draw a bubble, click and drag on your canvas to create an ellipse. You can hold down the shift key for a perfect circle. Now adjust the stroke and fill settings in the top menu. Set the fill color for the bubble's interior. Then set the stroke color or the outline and thickness if desired. Now we're going to create the tail of the speech bubble. You can use the pen tool to draw the tail. You can do this by selecting the pen tool from the toolbar or simply pressing P on your keyboard. Then click to create points that form a small triangle extending from the edge of your ellipse. This will be the tail of the speech bubble. After placing points, close the shape by connecting the last point to the first one. And once the triangle is drawn, right-click and choose Fill Path. And make sure the fill color matches the color of the ellipse. Now we're going to merge the shapes together. Select both the ellipse and the tail layers in the Layers panel. Then right-click and choose Merge Layers to combine them into a single shape. Now we're going to add text to the bubble. For this, select the text tool from the toolbar. Then click inside the speech bubble and type the text that you want to include. You can customize the font size, font style, and color using the options in the top menu. Now use the Move tool or simply press V on your keyboard to position the speech bubble wherever you like in the image. Then adjust the size or angle of the bubble and text if necessary by using the Free Transform tool or by simply pressing Ctrl T. Then save your work as a PSD if you want to keep the layers editable by going to File, then save as PSD. And to export it as an image, go to File, then Export As, then choose a file format like PNG or JPEG. And that's how you make a speech bubble in PhotoP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.